Loose body manipulation in the knee. Well, we make sure the patient is again in a good position and in a stable position. Uh, make sure that when you flex the knee, you have about, let's say, 20 centimeters of space over here, which allows us to put our foot on the table a little bit later on. For what is concerned the grip, for left knee, the right hand, the index finger, has a contact with tibia. The other hand comes along the Achilles tendon and builds in some dorsiflexion. And like this, we have a nice solid grip. Because later on we have to do some rotations. And I would like to have some rotations in the knee and not too much rotation in the foot. For instance, if you would have a grip more like this, then of course you also manipulate the knee, but you also manipulate five other joints in the foot. And that's not the purpose. So. Left knee, right hand, index finger, contact against tibia. The other hand builds in some dorsiflexion. Okay, next step, foot on the table. Next step, her foot on my thigh. Then I have a traction component. Then I stand on one leg, I build in traction and do the rotations. Frequently made mistakes are following. We do this, and then, boom, the knee falls on the table again, and we continue. No, then we lost our traction, and that's not the purpose. So the trick is, the moment your foot goes away, don't put the foot on the, ta on the, on, on the ground, put your foot in the air. Stay in the air until the end of the maneuver.